There's certainly a lot of eye candy here at the south end of the Palm Beach Boat Show. Vire, Fjord, Solaris, all these boats getting a lot of attention, people stopping to take photos. But few boats more than the Dutch Craft 56 is getting a lot of attention. That's why we asked for none other than yeah. Zeke Vedder, Charlie Levine, to come give us a closer look. Yeah, Charlie, this thing's awesome. you're back. Yeah, I mean, right, a huge amount of attention just because they get this open transom, these are the sea bobs and scuba tanks, the interesting color scheme. It's, it immediately catches it, your it, eye. It, it it, yeah. It, and it's just massive. I love this like tailgate style transom. Yeah. Opens it up. The mm -hmm. owner's a big diver, obviously. Yeah. Um, tons of dive storage, dive tanks here, sea bobs. And then I met the captain and he was like, come check it out. And there's a lot to see. Cool. You said, uh, I think I think on that side, there's, yeah. there's storage for 12. 12 tanks over here. 12 dive tanks. Oh, I see. On this side, room for two C-Bobs right into, I like that they have the dedicated space and, and the charger, the air compressor there. I mean, this boat kind of lives up. It looks like it's made for adventure. It looks like, it looks like it's- see the flybridge. Oh, I like it. Did you notice too, Dan, these, they sewed magnets into these cushions. So these things won't fly away. They that, just click right into place. That's smart. As someone who's had to repair more than a couple snaps, it's uh, that's a nice touch. You said it's a 17 foot beam. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Lots of room in between, huh? Head up. Yeah. So obviously you've got this massive dinette, beautiful spot in the shade. Yeah. Enjoy the ride, and this window pops open, so you can uh, talk to your crew in the galley. And it looks like it locks up here too, so you can kind of probably run with it, run with it open. Yeah. yeah. Shove. I mean, how about that? Wow. So it's a wide open boat. I love the aft galley. It's you know more yeah. of a bar almost setup. Yeah. And they have the cold drawers here, down the sides, wine cooler, hmm. um, access to the staterooms down below. There's a surprising amount of light and space down yeah. below. Yeah. Another giant table. <laughs> the this, dual TVs. This, this, is, this is unbelievable. This has got to be uh, the marriage saver here. So you, right. you can sit on each end and watch watch something different. Yeah. I don't know how that works with the audio necessarily. Like Downton Abbey on this side and you know the, late, the game on that side <laughs> or something. I like it. And this is a really, really interesting helm. Yeah. You know, obviously way forward. You got quick access to the bow up front, a mm -hmm. couple of screens, joystick. Uh, the captain tells me this is where he normally docks the boat. There mm -hmm. is a wing station as well. That's a nice but option. From here, you know, obviously great visibility forward, but you can see, I can see the back corner too. Right. And if you had to jump outside, there's a, a door right here. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, the, some really nice accommodations down below that I don't, I didn't necessarily expect when looking at this boat in profile on the dock. Yeah, it's well appointed. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> the Dutch are large people generally, so I, you see it in the size of the showers and the headroom. Um,
Always a bit of a tease at the boat show, looking out at people actually out there enjoying the water. Yeah, we could sneak out. <laughs> I, I, right I, I think we could. That's, that's what's calling my name. Clear, clearly this boat is made to do a little bit of entertaining. This boat has had yeah. to have a couple people on board. Yeah, you've got more fridge storage, big table, and I love the aft side of this massive flying bridge. Mm -hmm. Stack up the gear. Sea bob, scuba tanks, stand up paddle boards. Tender. You could probably put a davit there. You know, it's fun. The, the boat has a lot of a lot of dock appeal. You know, a lot of people, but this is a boat the more we go around and the more we explore it, the more I like it and the more cool features there is to find. So I think the only the only next logical step is getting that is getting this boat away from the dock. Yeah. I think that could be accomplished. All right, let's let's aim for that. Do some diving. Go on and have some fun. That's a deal. I'll get the stern lines.